What's up, everybody? It's the Great Duke Fathers here, making a live stream on this beautiful, what is it, Tuesday afternoon? You know, when you do what I do, you forget what day of the week it is. Uh, but I didn't forget that today is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. See, I got a lot of gray hairs coming in because I'm getting older. Things are starting to hurt a little bit more than they used to. Uh, that's how I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sore. My arms are sore. My legs are sore. My head hurts. My back hurts. The back pain's the worst, man. The back pain is what kills you. But, you know, it's another day on this great planet. And uh, one more year. One more revolution for the great Duke Bothers. That's 37 of them. Oh, I'm going to celebrate the only way that I know how. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Uh... I'm not going to go live or anything like that, but it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good birthday. Uh, here's what I wanted to talk about. Um, I loved how the football world came together, uh, fans of every team, and I mean every team, even Eagles fans were you know, showing love and support for DeMar Hamlin, which was awesome to see. It was awesome to see the anchors on ESPN, you know, praying for him and, you know, the constant updates we're getting and the love we're getting for the training staff now and all of these positive things, you know, DeMar Hamlin posting on his Twitter page or whatever it was and, you know, talking with his teammates, you know, celebrating the kick return to, to start that game. You know, there, there was a lot going on there that was really, really cool. It got a lot of exposure. We talked a lot about it. They painted the, the three with Bill's colors in every stadium Sunday. That was really cool. Why are we not talking about Peyton Hillis? I feel like Peyton Hillis is not getting talked about enough. This man is still fighting for his life after, I believe it was January 5th, saving his children from drowning in the ocean. And he sits today in very critical condition. Uh, his kidneys are, from what I've been told, his kidneys are a massive problem. They don't know that he's ever going to recover. Uh, it, originally it was his lungs, now it's his kidneys. The man sacrificed his life. Now, like I said, he's still fighting for his life right now, but obviously his health and his well-being were sacrificed so that his children could be saved. And his children are fine. I mean, physically, they're, as far as I know, they're living normal lives. Physically, they're just fine. He saved them from drowning. They didn't die. And now he is the one who is fighting for his life. And I don't hear anyone talking about that the way that they were talking about DeMar Hamlin. And I'm not trying to take away from that. I'm just saying that Peyton Hillis needs to be talked about a lot more than what he's been talked about like why is he not giving the same love why is he not receiving the same love and the same support that DeMar Hamlin got why are we not you know coming together as football fans and praying for Peyton Hillis the man's a hero the man saved his children from drowning in the ocean is there something I'm missing like why am I not seeing Peyton Hillis videos why am I not hearing people talking about this this should be a much bigger deal than what it is and that bothers me so, you know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily calling anyone out for not talking about him, but what I am saying is, it's time to talk about him. It's time to show some love. It's time to show some support for Peyton Hillis, who is fighting for his life after being a hero. That sounds like something we should be talking a little more about. So I don't know why we're not. And, I, you know, I don't watch ESPN. I don't watch, you know, all those major news networks on TV so maybe they are talking about it and I just don't know maybe maybe they maybe he is being talked about on cable networks on television on radio and I just don't know about it because I don't watch it and I don't listen to it and maybe that's the case I don't know let me know if I'm wrong let me know if I'm wrong I could very well be wrong but I am not hearing anything about Peyton Hillis I've heard a lot about Damar Hamlin but I haven't heard a single thing about Peyton Hillis and I I feel like that's wrong so let me know if I'm wrong. I hope I'm not. I mean, I'm sorry. I hope I am. I hope everyone's talking about him. But this man needs some love. This man needs some respect. He's a freaking hero. We should be celebrating this guy. But that's just me. 
All right, well, that's all I had to say, man. I'm going to make this a short video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be live Monday night for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game, the Tom Brady potential retirement ceremony that we're going to be doing. I think I'm watching a break-in right now. I just watched someone walk into a house that is for sale. I don't think that's their house. I should be calling the police, but no, I'm making a YouTube video instead because it's not my business. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him break into the house. I don't care. The cops will figure it out. I saw three cop cars on the way here. So, anyway, it's the Great Duke Fathers. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Hit the like button if you would on the way out. And uh, Peyton Hillis, I'm praying for you. And if you watch Monday Night Mayhem, you know what that means. Y'all take care. Have a good one. I'm out.